So, you know what the code looks like now, but you're not sure how to put it all together. Not a problem. First rule of game design is, keep your game small. Second rule of game design is, keep your goddamn game small. Third rule of game design is, make sure you don't break rules one and two. You need to understand that creating a game might be easy, but finishing a game is really f hard. Let's pretend that you had the gameplay finished. You made the levels and the engine, you got sound, you got music, the bosses are done, and it's a lot of fun. Okay, so what's left? Well, you still have to make a menu, and hopefully if your game was small, it'll literally just be press start to play. Otherwise, if it's more complicated, you need to learn how to make a menu. Maybe an options tab. You gotta set up a system that saves the players high score so they don't start from zero every time they play. How about a basic online scoreboard that lets players compete with each other? What about ads? Do you know how to put those in? You work so hard on your project, it'd be a shame if you didn't get paid for any of it. Is your game multiplayer? If it is, you better have all the time in the world to start fixing every glitch that all your players are gonna find. But let's be optimistic and pretend you finished all of this. The game is done. You're not building anymore. What now? Well, where are you gonna share it? If it's for an iPhone, you gotta figure out how to apply for their app store. If it's for Android, you gotta create an account with them instead. If it's for Steam, I hope you're not in a hurry because the sign-up process for that is not as simple as giving them your email and credit card and clicking release. You gotta prepare your Steam workspace and write a bunch of descriptions and upload a bunch of screenshots telling people why your game is fun. And how are you gonna advertise it? Because if you're not a legacy Reddit user or already have a following on Twitter or YouTube or some other social media, nobody is gonna find it. So all that stuff that we just mentioned has nothing to do with actual gameplay, but takes a lot of time to learn, takes even more time to execute, and will really just eat up your entire life. You will have to split your time between fixing glitches, reading and responding to questions, reviews, and comments, and the bigger or more complicated your game, the the more impossible that task will become. So when I say make your game small, I really mean like actually small. Like this game for example. The entire game is just dropping a shipload of random 3D objects into a pile and you finding the pairs. That's it. That's the whole game. It has a simple combo system that rewards you for finding things quickly and the higher you rank, the larger the pile. End of story. Here's another one called Duet. You can rotate them left or you can rotate them right. And you just try to avoid the objects that get sent your way. This one's called flow and all you got to do is try connect two colors while trying to fill the entire board the higher your level the board gets bigger and the colors increase so if this is your first project your game should be no bigger than the ones that I just showed you for the love of God just make it small because there's a lot of work left even after you finish the game and you're probably not getting paid for any of it okay well if you join me next video I'm gonna show you how to take what we've learned so far and recreate the game flapping bird so I hope you look forward to that as always hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you